This spring, the Design Studio for Social Intervention hosted a three-day summit, inviting youth and youth workers to think together about social violence. The event highlighted the work that the Design Studio has done with youth over the past four summers, focusing on three projects in particular, Big Urban Games, The Grill Project, and Let's Flip It. Big Urban Games was launched in 2008 by asking the question, can play change how we see our neighborhood? In response, youth interns designed a series of games that they took into their own neighborhoods. At the summit, participants considered which games they wanted to play and where in the city to play them. They also headed outside to experience the project firsthand, playing in the street, stopping traffic, and taking over. In 2009, the design studio launched the Grill Project by asking the question, does a grill or glare have to start a fight? In response, youth interns aimed to subvert the power of the grill by inserting an element of play and making it strange. At the summit, participants stepped directly into the project, delivered their best grills for the photographer, and considered the chain reaction that happens with a subtle confrontation of the grill. In 2010 and 11, the design studio asked the question, can youth change the meaning of a symbol to flip violence? Participating youth decided to flip the symbol of the cat by substituting a white cat for those with logos affiliated with gangs, crews, and blocks. Youth distributed over 3,000 stickers and pins, over 10,000 flyers, and hundreds of hats and t-shirts. At the summit, participants stepped into the action by customizing Let's Flip It pins and t-shirts. Youth and adult participants of the summit also led and participated in dialogue sessions focused on relevant topics such as horizontal violence, Trayvon Martin, and the future of the Let's Flip It campaign. So that makes it. It's our lives first. It starts with us. Like you want to live, you know. So a little bit about how, how to work with young people about unplugging in that moment when um, they're in a conflict with somebody and they don't know how to get out of it, so they just keep getting into it. But um, I try I try talking to him stuff like that. He doesn't listen. He thinks that um, rap in the hood is good and it's. It serves them well, and he thinks that um, it will, you know, make them powerful one day. And I was like, you know, um, hey, take one. You can actually um, talk about, you know, tell them about the split bit. You know, what I told you, you can pass the information down to him. Maybe he can have a little sense into my what the split bit. And she took two. I was like, okay, I can get some more. <laughs> <laughs> seen it, kept seeing it everywhere. And I wasn't kind of sure what it was, and then I got involved with it. There was this kid on the train one time, and he was like, yo, you got the same sticker as me, that's what's up. And we just all have at each other. And he's, every time I see him on the train or anyone else with the thing, I high-five him or something. I'm like, yeah, you know, there you go. <laughs> Finally, participants further developed their own ideas for social interventions. They used the Design Studio's methodology, examining cultural context, identifying critical symbols, designing and testing potential interventions. If you are interested in learning more about our work or working with us, please email us at action at ds4si.org. Thanks.